Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our Planets Through Nakshatra series of the week. And this week, we're going to be covering Saturn in the Nakshatra of Uttra Ashada. Instead of Purva Ashada, Uttra Ashada, which happens between Sagittarius and Capricorn sign. Towards the end of Sagittarius and the first 10, I believe, 10 to 11 degrees of uh, Capricorn sign. And I know last week, people were like, oh... The symbolism you're talking about is of Uttra Ashada, the elephant symbol. No, it's both. One is a step back elephant. The other is a forward stepping elephant. Okay, there's many symbols to each nakshatra. It's not just one symbol to a nakshatra. Okay, there's, there's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten symbols to a one nakshatra. Like this nakshatra is a forward foot of the elephant, but also it can represent plank of the beds. So this is a nakshatra controlled by the sun and this particular nakshatra especially when Saturn comes into it because see Saturn represents our karmas sacrifices duty commitment discipline structure organization shows that there is some karma karmic debt to be performed in this life and most of the time this karmic debt is towards society you must pay some debt back to society by being a servant to society. This is why many politicians, government professionals, people who work for social welfare are born with this type of a Saturn. Because see, Uttra Shada is about authoritative ship. Taking that leadership into either the spiritual realm or the practical realm of our karmas. So especially when Saturn is in Sagittarius sign, in the Nakshatra of Uttra Shada, Saturn has the responsibilities and must give sacrifice towards going to the other level, the next level of spirituality. And especially in Sagittarius Saturn, Saturn will feel lonely. Saturn feels like I need to escape because nobody wants me. And I need to escape because I don't feel that I might be worthy of other people. I need to look for God who will accept me. And especially both in Sagittarius and Capricorn sign. If obviously if Saturn ruling your seventh house shows that the person that you marry in this life, you promised them in past life that you're going to marry them. So any seventh lord in the nakshatra can do that, especially due to the mythological stories. I mean, Dr. Arjun Pai will open up a can of like, you know, tuna with this nakshatra. And he'll do that when he comes uh, towards this nakshatra on, on our series, which is actually being delayed so much. Um, but Saturn, especially in my practical view, usually represents people who want to do something in the government. They want to be an IS officer or they want to go into politics or they want to go into civil service somewhere where they can have an authoritative ship. Because the thing is with Saturn, who doesn't really like sun, okay, Saturn is a servant. Saturn likes to serve. What is one of the most common, common ways for us as human beings to serve and change society is through working in government. Right. But at the same time, the reason why especially Saturn people strive and work hard towards doing something in civil service or government service or politics because of the fact they feel insecure of their leadership. They feel like the, the world thinks that they're not good leaders. Like I'll give you an example. There was uh, in Mumbai. I forgot the name of this guy. You know, in Mumbai, there's a place. Uh, the scene that they shot the um, slum dog millionaires in, they, where's all the slums are. There was a little boy who used to be harassed by uh, some police officers, some people of authority. And they say, oh, you're just waste, you're this and that. And that little boy, ego was hurt. He felt bad of who he is, what he was. During the teenage time, again, you know, they were just heckling everybody and they're heckling him. He yelled at them. He said, you know what? One day 
I'm going to be in that red light car because the civil service people in India, especially IS officers, they go into this red light car. He says, one day I'm going to have this red light car and I am going to throw all of you out. They laughed. But eventually that little boy, through perseverance, through his hard work, went from slums to becoming an IS officer. And there, it's, it's just a story. It was like actually about four or five years ago. It was a big story. Um, it was on Indian channels and all that uh, I was watching. Uh, I'm sure there's a story on the internet. I don't know the name of the boy. But that's what this Saturn absolutely represents because Saturn gets hurt so much that now it feels like, okay, I'm sick of this. I really need to become a leader so I can get some respect. And respect of Saturn in Uttra Ashada Nakshatra, it's not because it wants respect. You know, like a celebrity comes in in a room, oh, you all need to respect me. You all need to think I'm special here. That's not why Saturn strives for respect. Saturn strives for respect because it wants to show people that I am more than what you think I am. That's the feeling internally. It's not feeling of arrogance or show off that I'm something big, respect me. They want that respect because they feel like they just keep being hammered down. That's the thing. You know, like if you take a kid who is being bullied, 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 but one day he snaps and he punches the bully so hard it faints. He has a broken jaw and everybody never messes with him again because the boy was so humiliated over time, worked so hard, couldn't get the respect that one day it just snapped. It just strived forward like the elephant strive forward. And that's the Uttra Shada Nakshatra and especially in the Uttra Shada is this one Nakshatra that is blessed by all the 300 million gods. Why? Which nakshatra is hidden in Uttra Ashada, especially between 6.30 degrees to 11.35 degrees, is the nakshatra of Abhijit, which is a nakshatra of ultimate victory. Especially if you have planets in the birth chart or even the Navamsha chart sitting in this nakshatra, undefeated person, especially in the second half of life. So naturally with Saturn here, a person will always strive, always feel like that their karma needs to change society and they must be respected. They need to be in a authoritative position. But on the Sagittarius side, it's a different story. Sagittarius side, you can run into extremely spiritual people. People who will make sacrifices, discipline towards earning their um, leadership in a religious or spiritual sphere. Because they were so rejected by the world, they're like, I need to pursue something higher. So they go into an ashram, they join some, you know, organization, some Krishna consciousness, and they become this scholar. And because especially in Sagittarius, this nakshatra produces philanthropists, scholars, you know, philosophers, spiritual guides. And they find victory towards earning their spiritual potential. And especially in Sagittarius, if you have this nakshatra as a Saturn, who, and Saturn obviously rules the second house um, from uh, Sagittarius, but also if Saturn is in the, is a seventh Lord and sits in this nakshatra, shows that after marriage you will become a leader because the fact the promise from past life to marry someone when you fulfilled that promise you are blessed by the vishwadevas okay so guys this was my analysis of saturn in the nakshatra uttra ashada if you're new in my channel subscribe below again if you want to know where your saturn is placed all your other planetary placements my books reports consultations for that check out the links here otherwise we'll see you later Bye-bye.